Well, anyway, it, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. That was Nights by Frank Ocean from his album Blonde. Mm-hmm. So, Joe, what can you tell us about that song? Well, what, well, what do you want to know about the song? Well, I mean, I like that song. I like the switch up in it, personally. Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think about that song? I think it's a good song, but yeah. the thing I would say about the album Blonde is that it's a good album, but it's not an album I'd ever listen to a lot. See, now I've got to disagree. I know, because you, you listen to it, like, every night. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a modern day, the Queen is dead, but the Queen is dead is just better. No, I, w- whoa, I wouldn't say Frank Ocean's that depressing. It's a little bit. He's not... Uh, no, I... I, mm, I mean... Personally, I mean, I, I, I was hungover on, like, Thursday, and in the morning I listened to this whole album to put me in a better mood. Why were you hungover on Thursday, Joe? Because I'd gone out the night before. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. That's how uni at work, so... Yeah. But, um... No, I don't know. I think I feel like um, oh, I feel it with blonde. It's just a, it just holds on to this aesthetic it has of just being, just really good music. Okay. But so, I, I know so it's, it's not an aesthetic. An ex- an I know it's aesthetic, not an aesthetic, no. but it just it's it, it's something that everyone can listen to and they'll enjoy. It's not something that it's, it doesn't polarize anyone. Yeah. It's okay. it, it is it's just a really good album. And I think he he knows that 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 is a good album. Like I th- I th- I, you you say you don't even like it, but you know it. You think it's good. I, th- I think it's objectively good. It's, yeah. yeah. I mean, Pitchfork that that Pitchfork did a list of the best albums of the two thousand tens. Yeah. While I didn't agree with a lot of it, it they, they did place it at number one. I know. Yeah. yeah. You're saying yeah. I think Pink and White though is probably my least favorite track on the album. Well, that's Beyonce and the uh, backing tracks. For the vocals, interesting yeah, enough. Yeah, but, but that did not influence my opinion. I know, like, but I just, I've recently learned that today. It's an interesting fact for you. He's, he's, chuffed, he's chuffed with learning that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, curiously though, it's called Blonde, but it's got green hair on the cover. Yeah, oh, so this is the reason he called it Blonde, is because, as I, as I feel like if everyone knows who Frank Ocean is, he's bisexual, and the reason he chose Blonde is because it's feminine and masculine. It's like, a, it's not really a decisive in-between. You wouldn't mm-hmm. like say someone. You wouldn't say blonde, and you wouldn't think that's a girl thing or that's a boy thing. Well, so that's the that. reason why it's blonde. I mean, personally, I associate blonde hair with girls, but yeah, but boys can have blonde hair. It's not a. It's not a. Yeah, no, I'm not. not, not, not I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that, but that's that's me personally. Yeah, yeah. Like but that's the reason why it's called. That's, that's the reason why it's called blonde. Yeah. There you go. Okay, fair enough. Interesting. Put, sorry to cut you off again. I, I prefer Channel Orange. Yeah, you have said that. You have told me that in off the show. You have told me that you do enjoy. Channel Orange more. Channel Orange more. I don't got... know, I feel like I um, I listened to Blonde first, and especially Nike's, it's like, I really like that song. We can't no, play it, no, unfortunately. Nike's is good. I'll do like Night and Solo. Um, yeah, I think Self Control, which we're going to be playing later, has definitely become my more favourite of the songs on there. Yeah. And um, obviously we'll talk about it, but I mean, what he also does in the album is he's classed as being someone who challenges um, and uses vocals. Like and he manipulates it, so he loses like a lot of high pitch sounds, and I mean that's like something that Kanye West does. It's something that um, Bon Iver does as well, even know who that is. And it's like the way in which he does that, it holds this. I'm gonna change what I said before, and it's the aesthetic of it is just this kind of really relaxed, but someone who's trying to make sense of everything in his life. I feel like that's the aesthetic it is. Okay. He's not like he's not he's not in it. He's not. He's not comfortable at that point for some. It didn't seem like that. Or he seems he seems like he's about to be complete. I don't yeah. know if you, dis- if you agree with that or completely disagree. I I, I completely agree with it. Yeah, it, 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 it. that's what aesthetic it holds to, and I guess that's kind of a good thing, and that's why I'd say it's just good music because it's like he's about to get to that point. Hmm. Well, he's he's recently released uh, the what's it called the single for his new album yeah. DHL. DHL, yeah. But I feel like that album's gonna be coming out in about twenty twenty three. Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he, he teased the track in 2018. Well, he teased Pink and White in 2013. Did he? Yeah. And it, like, this this album came out in 2016. So it took three years for it to come out. So, I mean, 2023 is a pretty good assessment. It could be 2022. 2022, but yeah. So he, he made Blonde in a week in 2013 and didn't release it in 2016? Um, no. Well, apparently he made... I think he made the album Blonde in a week. Okay. He made the album itself, the all the songs, um, but he didn't release it because he had this whole problem with his uh, label and his contract yeah. in that. Um, with Def Jam Records, I'm pretty sure they're called that. 
and uh, he released Endless, which is like another project, but it's not an album. It's a it's a video album, so it's a video. You can only listen yeah, to it yeah, in video yeah, form. Yeah, I remember you telling us. Yeah, it. but it's um, you can't listen to individual songs. You have to listen to it as a whole. And he released that to complete his contract, and then he the next day left that record label and released this. Yeah, cool. Uh, you you told me that your hype song is uh, self control <laughs> from this album. So how do you feel about playing that now? We can play that now if you want. You can play that now. Go ahead. Let's go. On. Let's talk more about Blonde then. Okay. Okay. Go on. Give us one last fact before we move. Uh, on. Well, first of all, uh, Blonde generated four hundred four million on demand audio streams for its songs uh, in the US. This is uh, through February the 9th, 2017. And the album has earned 620,000 album equivalent of units, of which 348,000 are in traditional album sales. That's like vinyls, CDs, that kind of stuff. And uh, I think it, it went platinum, this did, this album. Uh, yeah, I think it did. I mean, I'll have to check that, but... Also, another interesting thing is that he, um, he joined, he enrolled in the University of New Orleans in 2005, However, Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans that year, um, which resulted in him having to uh, leave the school because uh, it was completely destroyed. So then he went and enrolled in the University of Lu Louisiana at Lafayette. I can't actually say that last word. Nice. Um, but then he left after that and he moved and started making music instead. So imagine if Hurricane Katrina had never come, it may not have uh, led him to this spot that he's in at the moment. So, in to to take your words out of context, you're saying Hurricane Katrina was a good thing. <laughs> the the 2005 hurricane that wiped out quite of a lot of. Um, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it, new, it was New Orleans, wasn't it? Well, yeah, according to this, it was. Yeah. That flooded quite a lot of homes and killed quite a lot of people. That was a good thing in your eyes. Yeah. Okay. No, wait, no, no, I wasn't sorry. No, I was just agreeing <laughs> with them. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, 